What is known as the Vietnam War for most Americans of now, and even back then, is the war from 1965 to 1973, ending with the eventual attraction of all U.S. troops from the ground by President Nixon and the eventual loss of South Vietnam to the clutch of the Communist Brother in North Vietnam. This is only half of the long and bloody story of the struggles of one country against itself and the outside world. It started back in the 1800s, where the French government moves to assert its control during colonial and expansionist times by conquering and suppressing the Indochina Peninsula, including what is now known as Vietnam. After World War II, the French stole control of Vietnam, but were slowly losing it through the Communist Rebellion Ho Chi Minh. The Americans tried to help French take back the Vietnam as they had allies and stop the Communist regime. This ended in the forming of two countries by the 17th parallel. North Vietnam, ruled by Ho Chi Minh, and run as a communist nation with the backing from China and Soviets, and South Vietnam, run by Nguyen Dinh Diem, as anti-communist government backed by the Americans. When the Vietnamese nation was split, there was, no, there was an agreement to have an election in 1956 to reunite the nation under one leader. When the election came around, Diem refused to participate because he knew he was going to lose. This caused the nation to still be split and also caused a civil war. The end of life of nation, or nation liberish Liberation Front caused a communist uprising in the South backed by North Vietnam. Diem's unpopularity and poor political base weakened him, and therefore the South, as the Civil War dragged on. When John F. Kennedy was elected in 1960, he took a different approach to Vietnam. During the 1961, he sent over special forces troops to advise South Vietnam on how to conduct warfare. Due to his unpopularity in the South, leader Nguyen Dinh Diem was removed from power in 1963 with the help of the U.S. and assassinated. Shortly after this, Kennedy was assassinated and Johnson was sworn in. August 2, 1964, there was an attack on the USS Maddox while it patrolled the Gulf of Tonkin by North Vietnam. Under these circumstances, Johnson was given the military power by the Congress with the Gulf of Tonkin Revolution, giving him the power to send U.S. troops to South Vietnam without ever actually getting a, war de- a proper declaration of war from Congress. This led to the February of 1965 and the launch of Operation Rolling Thunder, which was of using enormous amounts of airstrikes against North Vietnam in order to force them to agree to peace. When this did not work, the airstrikes continued more and more, and U.S. soldiers were out on the front line and the ground. This war started with little U.S. involvement, and now has U.S. soldiers on the ground, and millions of U.S. dollars going towards it. In three years since 1965, there still isn't much change. <laughs> Put the gun down. Do you have the radio? No. Where's the LZ point? It's that way. It's 10 clicks that way. Here, I'm 16. I'll take point. Let's roll. We gotta move. I don't have a fan. I'm sticking around here with a bunch of cars. Move. All right, let's go. Right click. Ah. Oh, crap. Senior Bridges? No. I don't think we have the time to look for them. They do not pay us enough to do this. I don't think it'll matter if we're dead. Come on, we gotta go. Hold this. I'll go in first. Ready? Gun.
They could be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch left. No, I'll watch right. You watch left. Okay. We have any of those left, so we should be good. How far do you think we have left? Uh, ah! Contact! John! 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 asked for this radio and television time tonight for the purpose of announcing that we today have concluded an agreement to end the war and bring peace with honor in Vietnam. <laughs>